Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we will discuss about game hacking. So I recently participated in Cyberspace CTF 2024 and I came across this challenge which involves game hacking on Linux. So on Windows it's pretty straightforward, you know you can use cheat engine and all. I'll also try to cover that in the future videos. But this is a snake game so let me open my terminal. Uh, you can find out more uh, write up and all that in, if you can find out these files the snake game file and all in the cyberspace etf this uh, github so you can go there and check that out so let's go there to downloads so we have if you do a file snake so this is a 64 bit executable so it is based on linux so you can this is not a .exe file which you can run it on windows i tried that it never worked so if you do a dot slash snake after giving it an executable rights, you can see this is nothing but uh, a game where you need to, you know, you need to get exactly 16,525 points to get the flag. So this is how the challenge is like, uh, as always, I started going with uh, doing the strings and all that stuff. Nothing worked. I tried to go open launch Kithra and other uh, decompiling tools and it never worked so i guess we need to get 16,525 points and also one more catch here is every time you take this particular point uh, this is this is like a pill or something you need to you take in the snake game and it increments by 10 points so even if you are like a pro gamer and uh, if you plan on making that 16,525 points you cannot because it's always a multiple of 10 and 16,525 is not a multiple of 10 so the only way you can do this is using some tool like cheat engine but unfortunately cheat engine is not available on linux i mean there are few forks but uh, none of them work for me so there is a good tool called as game conqueror so you can you can install that using uh, a apt install so sudo sorry so sudo apt install game conqueror so this is how you can install it. It all you can also install this on your Ubuntu or any other machine. So this is available on all the things. I mean all the uh, major distros. I even tried it on Arc and it worked. So yeah. So let me launch the Game Conqueror. So if you have a little bit of familiarity with the cheat engine, this is almost similar to a cheat engine on Windows. So there is no much difference. But if you are new, let me explain. So this particular snake, uh, this particular binary is nothing but an application. So whenever you launch this application, it is loaded onto your CPU where there, are, there is going to be like, uh, first it is going to be loaded onto your RAM and then from RAM it's, uh, it's, it'll be sent, the instructions are sent to the CPU so that it gets executed every time. So I wrote a detailed blog on how this uh, works, like after compiling what actually happens. So you can go and check that, check my blog. I'll leave the link for that in the description below. So this particular snake, assume it's some kind of like a C program which you wrote and this score is nothing but a variable you know it's a variable which stores some data so that being said so whenever you launch this application so there is some particular address assigned to your uh, this variable on your in your memory so if you can try to uh, change that memory to the desired value then you successfully hack the game and if you might ask me like whether this will work on real time games no I mean they are much advanced and this particular challenge is way easier like anyone can do it but this serves as a very good starting point and I'm planning to cover uh, some other game hacking stuff in the future which involves cheat engine, DNS spy and all so let me know how it goes uh, but yeah so our goal is like to modify a variable which uh, which is located on your RAM which is nothing but a primary memory so that's how the basic execution works. So you launch an application, the stuff is uh, going to be on your RAM and from RAM, your CPU executes the stuff only from your RAM. So that's how it goes. There is some cache and all these things, but this is the high level overview of what actually happens. So uh, that's a basic thing. So let's start with the game conqueror. Let's search. Yeah, this is the game conqueror. So you need to have a uh, pseudo privileges because you are actually uh, messing up with your primary memory and stuff which is highly privileged so yeah so this is the uh, basic interface you can you need to select the process so just click on that icon and select this thing so it's pretty much it so now uh, let's restart the game uh let me click r you know you need to play a little bit 
so it's going to be fun i'm very bad at games so now you can see our high score is incremented by 10 so now let's go and search for this value 10 so let me click on search and you can see now you have like so many variables there are some uh, heap stuff stack and all uh, mostly since this uh, i'm not sure i uh, never went deep into this application but i guess there is no malloc or cal uh, malloc or calloc use so i guess heap is out of range maybe that may be some other value and you can see there are so many other values so 10 uh, you can't actually get the location uh, from this so let's uh, what we can do is like we can try to play more and we can incre increment the score to 20 and let's see how it goes so let me take this pill once again i'm really bad at playing games guys so now you can see it's 20 so let's uh, change this value to 20 and reanalyze it now you can see our values are uh, you know we found out few addresses but still it is not the thing i mean uh, you can see there are two values here so high score and score so maybe these two represent that but let's try again and let's try to see with uh, 30 so let's try to increment the score so that we can actually uh, see what happens 30 and if, even if you reanalyze it so these are the things i guess that uh, one location may be uh, allocated to this high score and one location is allocated this score so that's a pretty thing so now let's add this to our cheat list so right click and add this to the cheat list and let's try you can you can do a couple of things here like you can lock this location so if you have a health of 100 so if you figured out the location or your address where the health bar or the health variable is getting stored you can just lock it so that you will have unlimited health so i played one game which uh, uh which you can hack actually using that but this is not the instance we need to increment this value so just uh a double click and 16 5 to 5 i guess that's the one and again 16 5 to 5 and just uh, go back to the terminal and resume the game now you can see her score is 16 5 to 5 and i uh, you know uh you beat my slither so this is the flag so if you want to get more accurate you can restart the game actually and you know uh, as i told you there are two variables score and the high score now if you see uh again the scores got reset but if the your score doesn't got reset so these are two different variables but we messed around with both of them and we're able to get the flag so that is the basic thing guys so we are to keep it simple we are messing around with the variables which are actually on your ram so that's what actually is happening here so i'll try to cover more uh i'll get more advanced into this binary exploitation so i'm preparing it a good video series on how things go in a binary exploitation so i'll try to uh explain everything well because there are like a lot of stuff in binary exploitation like uh heap overflow stack smashing rob change and all these things so i'll try to uh, make a, a video a video playlist out of it so that more people can uh, learn it learn it efficiently so i'll try to be more efficient as i can but do let me know how you felt about this uh, video and let me know if you want me to make more videos on game hacking so uh, so i recently went to the defcon and there is a game hacking village and they made a game which can be hackable so if you guys give me a positive response and i'll try to make a good video series out of that which john hammond is actually making uh, so it's fine i'll try to upload my own version uh, but yeah, that's it. That's thank you for watching this video till the end. I hope you learned something new today. This is Satvik signing off. I'll meet you in the next one. Thank you. Take care.